Hey guys, welcome back to the beginner piano series here on YouTube. In this lesson, I'd like to talk about the sustain pedal. Almost well, all pianos and almost all electronic keyboards and digital pianos come with a sustain pedal. And as its name implies, it sustains notes. Just to give you an idea, if I press this G note here and I let go, the note stops ringing. If I do the same thing with the sustain pedal pressed, the note keeps ringing even after I lift my finger from the, from the keyboard. Now you don't have, a, I mean, I don't have a camera here showing my foot, but I have something that's even better. This green dot in the center of the screen that will turn green when I press the sustain pedal and become white when I don't. So pressed, unpressed, pressed, unpressed. And this is even better than a camera showing my foot just because it's a lot more precise. You can see exactly when I press it and exactly when I depress it. Now, the sustain pedal gives you or the ability to really add sort of volume to your playing. For example, let's say that you're playing a lot of notes and you don't want the first notes to stop ringing, but you only have 10 fingers. So for example, this sort of passage where I just play the C major chord, C and C, and then C major, C major, C major, and C major. Even as I climb up the keyboard, the initial notes I played keep on ringing just because I have the sustain pedal, sustain pedal pressed. So it's very useful in that regard. It also adds volume to your playing uh, when, for example, you're playing chords or accompanying yourself. To give you another example, let's look at this simple accompaniment which switches from C major to F major and back to C major. So it sounds fine, but as I alternate between notes in my right hand, they sound a little bit disjoint, just because when I'm you know, either playing these two notes or the lower note, these two notes or the lower note. Now, if I do the same thing with the sustain pedal pressed, sounds a lot fuller. So and this is really really a very very common and widely used trick in piano playing. I won't even call it a trick, just a technique. Uh, so it's important that you learn to master it and the important point to pay attention to here is throughout my playing I press and depress the sustain, ped sustain pedal as I'm transitioning between chords. So I'm actually depressing it at the moment I stop playing chord number one and I press it again shortly after I start playing chord number two. And then this repeats every time I switch a chord. So pay attention to when the green dot turns on and off on the screen as I toggle between these two chords, C major, F major. You see there's a brief period where the dot is white after I hit the new chord. Just the amount of time I need to sort of get my foot up and then back down on the pedal. And this is fine. <clears throat> you can afford to do this, quote unquote, for a brief period of time without it losing this volume or sound of continuity that, that you build up with the sustain pedal. So this is something that you should definitely practice and have your your own playing sort of become you know, become proficient in it so your own playing sounds seamless. 
So this is about chords. What about melodies? Well, the sustain pedal is not used as often in melodies because you might often get notes that clash with each other. And you don't really want that to happen, right? If I just play a bunch of uh, different notes together here, they sound like they clash with each other, but I could have a melody that involves all of these notes. And if I hold down the sustain pedal, eh, they sound a little bit like they clash with each other. Uh, this becomes more and more true as you move down the piano to lower and lower registers. So for example, like this is a pretty striking one. If I play the C major scale up here with the sustain pedal, it sounds okay. But if I do the same thing down here with the sustain pedal on, it sounds very muddy. The notes clash with each other immediately. And that is because notes tend to sound muddy together much more easily in lower registers than in upper registers, right? Even if you just play a C major scale, uh, sorry, C major chord without uh, the sustain pedal, play it here or play it here. Obviously here in the center and even higher up, it sounds a lot better than down there. So the same sort of thinking applies to playing melodies with the sustain pedal. Sometimes people will use the sustain pedal to play like a fast scale maybe. It kind of glues the notes together uh, rather than have them a little more unglued. And this is an artistic preference. It, it works for some pieces, doesn't work for others. It's something that you'll need to experiment with in regards to your own playing or the piece that you're trying to learn. So that's basically it. Uh, kind of the main basic tips you should pay attention to when trying to master the um, sustain pedal. The most important one is getting the timing right when switching chords. That's, that's a big one. When you're starting out, uh, I hear a lot of players that don't necessarily do this cleanly. So they might play something like... They might even not take their foot off the sustain pedal at all, which is usually not very pleasing to hear. Yeah, not, not a great sound to have. That's it. I hope you've learned something interesting and I'll see you next time.